Hey guys, it's Tony Unbox and welcome to Caribbean Midlife. Today I'm going to be taking you through another med school advice video and I'm going to be showing you how I study with Ambos and Anki. So it's the Ambos add-on for Anki. If you don't know, well now you know it exists and the link to find out more information about it is in the description box. So I'm going to switch over to a screen recording of me using the app and then explain how it works. Let's jump into this video. So if you don't know what Anki is, it is a flashcard application and it helps you remember important information or information that you just keep forgetting. It helps you by telling you how often to do the cards and then you're in charge, but then Anki is also in charge because Anki tells you how often and then it um, helps you basically review those information more often so that overall you would remember and you'll be able to apply to exams and practice in the future. So when I open my Anki, this is exactly what I see and I'm using Zanki Step Deck because I found out that making cards myself was a very long process and I couldn't do it. I'm going to make a whole other video on my Anki and how I use it, so stay tuned for that. This video is for Amboss. So, Amboss is, an, is a learning platform and it helps you by creating cards, like it helps you with learning cards, that's like a summarized version of the information you need to know for each topic. And then it helps you with questions. There are a lot of questions. And that is awesome because it helps you prepare for the exams. And there are videos. There are analytics that help you realize, okay, I need to study this more. I need to study that more. These are the most important topics I need to focus on on that, this subject, those type of things. It's actually very helpful. I started using it earlier this year and I'm in love. And then... When I found out about the add-on, I was excited because a lot of times I'm reviewing cards and then I see something that I don't really understand and I have to close the card and then Google it or something like that. But then Amboss makes that a whole lot easier because when I see something I don't understand, I just click on the word. It has like a blue underline and I get the meaning and... I can open the learning card on another page to review later. So yeah, let's look at this. What does it say? Just regular settings and all that stuff. By the way, if you want to get the add-on, it's on the Amboss website. Okay, now let me show you a quick example of how I use Amboss. So we're going to be doing a demo neurology card. I do neurology on a normal day, but then demo because, well, so, lesions to lower motor neuron or cranial nerve 7, that's the facial nerve, may result in incomplete and then dash. So, this is the Amboss add-on and this is what it helps me do. I can click on anything that is underlined with a blue line, see this, and then the eye. So if I click on this, it's going to take me to a new page where I have a learning card, which is a summarized note on the eye and audit. So if I need to do any quick reviews after doing the cards, I have it and I can very easily do it. Instead of going to the Amboss site and then start looking for it, I can just click on it from here and it will go straight to where I need to go. So look at this, for example, lower motor neuron, a nerve that originated synapse, all of that. Look at cranial nerve 7. It also gives pictures on examples of the nerve palsies. And that is very helpful when you need to do a quick review. What is the most common malignant tumor of the air canal? And then you see it gives me a short explanation with pictures. I can change, see more pictures, and if it's something I haven't really understood before, maybe I just came across it rarely, 
and I didn't have time to review it. Now I have no choice because I am going to review it here when I'm seeing it in questions and then Ambos gives me an explanation. So I can very easily just click here and then I am directed to a learning card or article where basically it gives me a short explanation of everything that I need to know that's important about it. And then I can also do a quiz, human session, I can do a quiz. So it's, it's kind of joining all the learning sources and that is good because sometimes you just are lazy. So now I have no excuse because I can review everything I need to know from Anki without having to go anywhere else. Um, let me continue, show you another example. Dash can disrupt the blood brain barrier, which increases permeability of medications. So now I can find out about Manitor and diuretics, osmotic diuretics. I can find out more about the blood brain barrier. I can go here and click on the learning card. And then if I have anything I'm not happy about, I can drop a feedback, which is great. <laughs> so, yes, that is very nice. Paranoid syndrome, sunset sign. See, I can check here. Vesicle use policy. I can check here. Paranoid syndrome. I can check here. Take me to the learning card. And now I can review and do a quiz. So it's actually very helpful for me. I I use it every time because cards help you remember. And to be very honest, without doing cards, it's very hard to remember because there there is a lot, a lot of information that you need to learn in medical school. It's crazy. And then there's exams like every other day. So you need to be on your game and you need to be able to remember and that's where Anki comes into place. Okay, I think we have come to the end of this video. That's all you need to know about using Anki with Amboss. It's literally very easy, but of course you need an Amboss account. So if you're interested in a free trial, you should comment and I will get you a link for a free trial. So um if you like this video, if you found it educational, then please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Comment whatever questions you have or whatever you have to say. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.